it's Sunday. You know, all week, I didn't do anything crochet. Like, well, I did crochet, but I didn't complete anything. Except I just finished this literally two minutes ago. So this is my Bursta kind of beanie hat number three. It is kind of holy. Like the stitch is not. So this will be good for like a Florida kid or somebody. It's acrylic, but you know, it is what it is. So let's try it on and make sure it fits. How's that look? I like it. It's very nice. Okay, so I got this on. It fits nicely. Hat number three is in the bag. And oh, let me refresh you what I use. And I didn't even use all of it. So I could probably make another one with this. So this was the paint box yarn that I made this hat with. I started with a five for the crown and then I moved to a six for the body of the hat. And for the body, I basically just did half double crochet, front loop, back loop, every other stitch. And then got about maybe, what is that, two inches. And then did the herring boat. I did the half double crochet third loop, which is the, cam the, the camo stitch. So then I went back to the front loop, back loop, half double crochet, and then did the three more rows of the camo stitch, and then did the brim. With the brim though, I instead of going into the extended single like I normally do, I just did a front post. Single, single, Regular single and then extended single front post. So back to this yarn. It was um, a three lightweight 100 grams acrylic, 302 yards, a 3.5 ounce, and uh, in the color 140. So we'll put this in the Hat bag for this year. This bag says, shut up, I'm counting. And I will count louder. But yeah, so hat number three is done. Now hat number four, because I'm kind of behind and it's already almost the last week of January. I'm gonna pick up the hat that I started last month and never finished. So this was the burst of kindness that I started with the yarn I got from Granny D, which was the the faucet yarn. I don't know where the tag went, but I shall find it and pick it up. I got it in my big teacup from this was from clearance, I believe, when it was like half off when they used to do the yarn allergy um, stuff for, you know, half off, not sponsored at all. This is all purchased with my money. And, oh, talking about purchasing with my money, we are on January 22nd, and I have not purchased not one skein of yarn. I'm so proud. But that didn't mean I didn't buy anything. I did because I bought this nifty little tool here from Amazon to start another project when I have projects up the wazoo to finish, to complete. But of course, I started another one because I believe I opened this on Sandrine's Live just to see how it works. So basically, if you're gonna work from the outside, you 
lift this up, stick the yarn in there, and then put it on here. And it basically just pulls the yarn. How cool is that? But of course, I started another canyon shawl. And this was with the Chloe yarn that I purchased last year from the clearance sale from Hobby Lobby again. The other Kenyan shawl that I was working on is with the puzzle yarn. It was a three weight. This thing is huge. Are you ready? Now, I finished two skeins and then I started a third skein only because I'm one of those um, people that you have to finish the set but I'm gonna finish the granny square section of this. There's this, it's pretty big, but it's about my wingspan. A little, it'll be a little bit bigger. So I am at two rows of the granny stitches and I have to do three more, and then I'm done. My bad, did I say three weight? This is a five weight. But I love the colors of this puzzle yarn. Premier Puzzle, and that color is called Hangman. Hangman. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish this row. And then I was thinking, since it's so big, what if I turn this into a cardigan or something? I don't know. Maybe I'll make this my boho cardigan. I don't know. Because <laughs> yarn is flying everywhere. Um, that is a goal of mine. It's to make a wearable. Even though shawls are wearables, but I'm on a wearable wearable. <laughs> so this is what that's going to turn out to be. I basically been dabbing in every every little project that I started, but the only thing I completed was that beanie. It is what it is. You do your best. Just do your best. So the other thing I was kind of, I, I finished January section of the All in the Family blanket. It's finished up to this purple part is February and then I started January's and I got to roll 14 so I'm halfway done with February already because I'm trying to play catch up and honestly I, I want to finish this I, I want to commit to finishing this because I still have this shawl which is the beauty pain i finished the first two pages of it it goes this way did you guys forget about this i didn't because it's been parked parked in this bag and just a refresher. I'm using the twister yarn from Hobie. It's 55% cotton, 45 acrylic, and I barely made a dent in the color. But I seem to misplace the pattern, so I'm gonna have to print another one out. I left off on row 25 and once I print another pattern, I'll get back to it. But for that shawl, I'm going to give myself until the end of February to finish it because that's a lot of counting and I don't want to frog it and start over because I did. I, I started, I got to row 14 and missed a stitch. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna frog it, I'm not gonna frog it, but I ended up frogging it. 
because I didn't like it. And plus it threw off my account. I don't know what happened. So, you live and you learn. So, the only other thing that I did finish, if you are interested, was this headband. Remember, I, I had started this on Sandrine's Live or somebody's, or maybe Angie's, I don't remember. But I ended up with not enough yarn. But then I had remembered this yarn I threw up and I had like a, a handful that was tangled. So I took some time to untangle it and I was able to finish it. There we go. I have a, something for Valentine's Day to wear. And this was the cowl or snood or whatever you want to call it to go with it and I had finished this in December I think this was the last item that I finished so there's the cowl part of it so basically this started off with a moss stitch triangle shawl and then I broke it down and did the double crochet moss stitch and then ended it with a pico joined the, the shawl and then did the cowl part with the half double crochet two rows um what do you call this camo stitch that's one of my favorites because it looks like a knit stitch and then I did the moss stitch here, bobbles, no, the bean stitch, moss stitch, bean, and then two more of the herringbone, and then not herringbone, camo stitch. And then I ended up doing the my regular brim that I do for my beanies, which is single, extended, single something in that nature but this is gonna be my somebody called this a a snood or something but you just basically wear it like a, a turtleneck or a cow I don't know you do what you want but this is Making me a little pale. But anyway. Wear it under your coat. I don't think it's big enough for a... It's not big enough to go over your head to wear like a... A hood. But it is what it is. Now. This particular set. I think I made with three scenes of the premiere everyday cotton I believe I don't remember um, but this was two and a half no maybe almost three um, skeins and I don't know what I did with the label so I can't help you with that but I believe I have a blue one So it's this yarn that I got. I do this yarn was sitting in my pile for like two years. So I bought these, um, I believe, from Hirschner's like a couple years ago. It was like a three pack, and I got this color and this red color. I think this is red heather. I believe the color was I don't think they sell this anymore I think it's discontinued but this is um, premier everyday anti pilling but this is the acrylic 100% anti pilling acrylic um, it's a four weight but it's pretty thick and comfortable I only have one of these so I must have made a bunch of beanies for Hat and I Hate with this because this is color 
blue heather. So I figure it's probably the same. This specs on this label says 180 yards, 165 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. Um, it's a four weight, recommended hook size is a 5.5, and I believe that's what I made this was with was a 5.5 hook and then this headband was also a 5.5 and I just did the moss stitch with this as well but instead of the single crochet in the chain stitch I did it in the single and then skip this chain so this will be my new Valentine's Day wear. So that is what I've done this week. It wasn't very much, but it was, it is what it is. Next week, I will be focusing on finishing this beanie that I started last December. And so it helps that I had a head start already on the crown part of it. So I just have the body to finish. I'm going to focus on finishing up that premiere puzzle canyon jaw and hopefully trying to figure out how to turn it into a boho cardigan. I'm just winging it people. Learn as you go. And then um as for February, I'm going to focus on getting the beauty paint shawl completed. The last four rows of this all in the family blanket. And then I believe I have to do the math. So there's four more Fridays in February. So four more hats will be added to my list of things to finish. For February, I'm also going to focus on that one, but this one will probably be most likely worked on and finished before February because I want to get that done before I get the beauty paint done because this pattern, if I haven't set it already, you need to go check it out. It's super easy, mindless to do. So thanks again for hanging out with me. I think I've talk your ear off enough and so love yourself so you can love everyone else have a great night and take care bye <music>